Hi, I'm RIS Media Content Director Casey Weldon. Welcome to RIS Media's Headliners, recapping some of our most important stories for the week ending September 18th. This week, Associate Online Editor Jordan Grice reported that the National Association of Realtors filed a petition on September 13th to continue its fight with the Department of Justice to back out of its antitrust lawsuit settlement from November of last year. NAR President Charlie Opler stated the department's actions imply that it should be free to reconsider the terms of an agreement at any time for any reason or no reason at all. He went on to say that if a view prevails, it would undermine the strong public policy in favor of upholding settlement agreements and public confidence that the government will keep its word in the future. We reached out to the DOJ for a statement, but it said it would not comment on an ongoing investigation, but maintains its position. We will continue to follow this story. In another report by Jordan Grice this week, it appears that inflation rates are showing no signs of slowing. This has the Federal Reserve seeking options on what to do with interest rates to curb the increase. But Todd Tata, Chief Product Officer at Adam Solutions, warns there could be unintended consequences if the Fed moves too quickly with interest rate adjustments. He noted that the extremely low interest rates have had a significant impact on the housing market price boom, and any changes now or in the near future could price buyers out or could slow down or even end the current hot housing market. In other news, senior online editor Liz Dominguez broke down a recent Zillow report on how an increase in professionals working from home is impacting the housing market. The great reshuffling is giving home buyers new priorities. Instead of looking for closer commutes, they are instead focusing on affordability and finding their ideal space. The report found that 44% of respondents now want to work from home following the COVID-19 pandemic, to which Megan Reibstein, Vice President of Organizational Operations at Zillow, says will have an impact on how they shop for homes due to the desire for more flexibility. This not only could spur an increase in job seekers, but also more buyers in new markets. You'll find these stories and others in the links provided here, and you can stay informed every day by subscribing to RIS Media's daily news and by following us on social media. Finally, if you're unable to join us this week for our virtual CEO and agent leadership exchange, you can still sign up to watch the replays, or if you did sign up and you missed out on our terrific sessions, you can still have full access to replay them all. Thanks again to the more than 75 outstanding speakers who joined us at the virtual event and to the thousands who tuned in. And of course, thanks to you for watching this week's RIS Media's Headliners. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you next week.